Welcome back. Today, we'll be discussing the split dimension, center line, and dimension snap offset distances features in DraftSight. I found that all these commands make my drafting experience smoother and more convenient. First up is the split dimensions icon, located under the annotate tab in the dimension section of the ribbon. This feature creates gaps and dimensions that cross over other entities in your drawings. It's activated by just selecting the icon and specifying your dimensions of choice. Next up is the centerline feature, which is located under the home tab in the annotation section of the ribbon. It does exactly what its name suggests. It locates and labels a center line of two parallel entities in your drawing. Simply select the icon, specify the boundaries of your center line, and you're good to go. If your center line is too long or short, just select its endpoints and drag them to wherever you'd like. Lastly, Dimension Snap Offset Distances adjust the distance that your cursor snaps to when inserting dimensions. They're located by looking under the Manage tab in the Customization section of the ribbon, then selecting the Options icon and pressing Drawing Settings. Once adjusted, your dimensions will appear uniform and neat. So try out these features for yourself to do more with your DraftSight experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSight.com.